Um, a few years ago, I started noticing there was a correlation between s students who wanted to come to Albion to study ceramics, but also had a very great interest in Japanese studies. So I started thinking about how can this be turned into something that would satisfy both. And um, as the international studies program grew, um, the need for a course like this just seemed very natural. And Dyron and I, um, you know, as friends, we sat down and talked one day and Dyron was asking me about ceramics because he's always had sort of a natural curiosity about ceramics. And um, I think that's sort of what got me thinking about, well, so much of ceramics is based on Japanese tradition that um, it would be interesting for students to know where did this come from? How did this uh, uh, start like this? What was the purpose of it? And so that's sort of what got us started on um, thinking about this course, at least from my point of view. The design of the course was to provide credit to students who were political science majors and get an artistic expression, artistic mode credit as well, and vice versa. Um, and uh, that's one of the unique things about this course is that it, it is accommodating a variety of student needs to graduate, but also student interests. I think the students came into the classroom um, open-minded, but of course they always are going to bring their own Western biases and that they essentially have to take off that Western lens and put some other type of lens that allows them to evaluate customs and societies and culture without this sort of um, strong, uh, over, uh, burdensome Western lens to it. I think that was a, perhaps the biggest challenge of what so, that we encountered was just simply allowing, allowing students to admit you know, that they come in with their own social cultural biases, but then being able to distance themselves from that in order to fully appreciate what was interesting, different, unique about Japanese culture and society and the political situation at the time. Well, since I'm primarily in the ceramics area, um, I would say, you know, all students are pretty equal. I mean, the, the benefit for me is I, I can speak their language when they come into my classroom. Um, but it's very interesting to see how students um, start off in one place and kind of move somewhere else. And um, I'm hoping that many of our students will go to Japan someday and have something in common with the Japanese people. And um, like, for example, when uh, Dyron and I traveled to Japan, um, one of the very, very famous places that we traveled to is Bizen. And we took this tiny little train to get there. It's a very remote place. And when we get there, there's a big sign that says, Welcome to Pottery Country. Well, that's the last English that was seen, from my point of view, um, in the town. So it would be nice for one of our students who maybe has some Japanese language skills, understand the politics, and understand the art to go to a place like Bizen. They would get so much out of that.